Hey guys, today we've got something really interesting and I have been given by my customer an ostrich egg. Now I've never done anything with a, an ostrich egg before and he wants to know whether or not we can engrave or cut on it so we're going to do both of those options and I've let him know that this is purely going to be a test because I've never done anything like this before. So let's get to design and see where it takes us. Okay. So the first thing we need to do is import our artwork and we need to select it and then vectorize it. So in this instance I need to do a three color vectorizing because there's two colors there. So go ahead push three colors. Once we've done that we can expand our results and then go ahead and ungroup the image because we need to delete the black background and go ahead and delete whatever's left over. And then once we've done that, we can go ahead and save it as a DXF. Um, can change the color to black. It will be easier to, to do so for our laser cutting program. Um, go ahead, export as DXF. Okay, so now that we're here in RDWorks, now we just need to measure our egg and change the size of our artwork. Once we've done that, we can just go ahead and change the settings to 50 speed and I'd I'm very certain that like a normal egg, this is going to cut very easily. So I'm going to put it at 45% power and 50 speed. We can go ahead and say OK. And then we need to do our other piece, which is the engraving. So here I'm just going to steal it from another piece of artwork. We're going to take the herb culture. And once I've taken that, I'm going to need to change it to one color and from there we can then move it into our vectorizing program. Okay, so now that we've made it black, we can go ahead and drag this onto Illustrator and we just move the other one out the way or delete it. Okay, so now we can just image trace it, then expand results, ungroup because I want to delete the white background. For RDWorks it only requires the artwork which is the black. Now that we've selected it, we can go ahead, export it as a DXF. Import our DXF. Okay, so all we need to do is make sure that we've selected our, our piece of artwork. I'm going to enter in 90 degrees and turn it only once. Once we've gone ahead and done that, I'm going to change the color for this so that we could see that it's going to be engraving. So I'll change it to purple and leave the other one black. And then from there, we can go ahead and do our settings for engraving. So we've got to change it to scan instead of cut. Then we're going to leave it at 300 millimeters per second. And I'm going to do 35% power. Again, I think the egg is going to be fragile enough for that to be sufficient power. But again, we are going to be doing tests, so we don't actually know until we try it. All right, so now that we've done our settings, all we need to do now is save it to U-File, to our memory stick, and then we can head on to our laser cutter. Okay, so we're here at our laser, and the first thing I want to do is set up our jig. And that's just merely using some scrap wood that we've got lying around, and that's just to prevent the egg from moving from the blower, because once it starts engraving, you can't really you know, hold it in place. So we just always create a jig for something that won't sit flat. Once we've done that, we're going to download our artwork to the laser and I've decided to do the engraving first, the herb culture, and uh, it's quite simple. Just make sure that you've leveled your, your head as close as you can to the best point and from there you just do your frame until you are happy with the positioning and then just push start.
Now that that one is finished, um, I'm happy with the results on that. We can now move the egg and rotate it 180 so that we can do the cutting. So again, just make sure you've downloaded your artwork off the memory stick and then make sure that your framing is actually just look at the left and right hand side. Don't look at top and bottom purely because you can't tell whether or not your artwork is centered to an oval shaped object. So you just want to try and get a happy medium uh, within that area. Now that we've done the first try, it didn't cut through, so we, we're gonna do it again. Okay, so I have gone ahead with 45% power and 50 uh, cutting speed, purely because I think an egg is quite brittle. Let's let it cut and see where it goes. Um, a concern of mine is that if I have the power too strong, thinking of a normal egg in mind, it shouldn't be too thick. If I go through the first cut, all the way and it's got too much power because it's unfocused from the top piece to the other side of the egg it might burn it purely because of its focus. Um, I see on the second time it hasn't cut through so I'm going to up my power settings to 80% power um, around about that region and we're going to keep at this until we get all the way through. Okay, so after a few attempts on our new settings, it looks like it's cut through in certain places and I am seeing a little bit of that burn on the other side, but it's not too much of a problem. So I'm going to attempt by just chiseling it out with a, a chisel and see if that works. Okay, so we know that we cut through most of the areas, but we just tapped it with a little bit of uh, help with the scraper and all of it fell through. So. Just keep that in mind, I've never seen, I've never thought that an egg would be this strong. Okay, so we have finally cut through with this, this leaf. And as I rotate, I have come to realize that my fear has come true. The, the laser did go through the one side to the other and has slightly burned the area to make it brown. This was an issue that I thought may happen. So I think what I'm gonna do is instead of cutting the same leaf on this side, I am going to choose to engrave it to try and see if we can get a better result on engraving. Alright guys, we're here and it is finally finished and we've cleaned it up 
I must say I am very, very surprised on how strong this thing is actually. I've never worked with an ostrich egg before and kudos to those that actually in hand engrave these things because that is just absolutely amazing. But from what I've seen, it took quite a lot of power to get through this and actually cut a shape into this egg. I honestly thought it was just going to fall to pieces and burn up. And besides the smell, I would really recommend wearing um, some form of face mask because this thing stinks during the process. Other than that, it came out really nice. I am happy with the cut, but there are some issues with it. Uh, moving over to our first engraving that we did of the herb culture, I really do think that I should have done more power to begin with. Again, I had no idea this thing was this strong. So it did come out all right. I just think it could look better with more power. Um, and then moving on to our last minute decision. And we spoke about that, the fact that when we cut through this, it did leave a bit of a burn mark, which you can kind of see in the smaller area here. So I thought instead of cutting that leaf again, let's rather engrave it and cover that blemish. Um, you know, so we don't have to throw this away, it can actually be used. Um, and I must say, engraving on an ostrich egg is a way better option than cutting. I much prefer it. We went ahead and did 300 millimeters per second and 80% engraving power. And I didn't even go in 0.2 of a mil after it engraved. You can kind of feel it's there, but the engraving certainly was faster, more efficient, and it looks cleaner. So my opinion is if you're gonna be doing an ostrich egg like this, rather engrave it than cut it. Well guys, in a nutshell, actually an eggshell, this came out really, really cool and I really hope you enjoyed watching this video because this is quite an interesting test for me and really wear a mask because this thing stinks. <laughs>